Okay, so I was looking for a way to add a hyperlink into a PDF that I'm generating inside Affinity Designer. But um, lo and behold, I looked and looked and unless somebody else can find it, I didn't see anything that I could do over here. But where it is available is an Affinity Publisher. It kind of makes sense, but uh, there's a few nuances also into the process. So um, first of all, I've just put some sample text here. If I wanted to take that and create a hyperlink to it, there are different ways of doing it. You could right click and there's interactive and you can insert hyperlink. Now anchors are if you create a link and you click and you create an anchor, it will jump to that place usually on the page or on multiple pages. Uh, but yeah, I'm wanting to create a hyperlink to a YouTube channel or YouTube video. So you can do it this way. You can go into text and go down to interactive and the same menus are available. Also, you could have it as a menu dialog here. Yeah, if you're not seeing it here, you can go to uh, view, down to studio and most likely, there we go, it's not activated. So if I click there, um, we should get it popping out. And then you can dock this window, for example, somewhere there. But I'm not going to use this one now. Um, you, this one kind of feels a bit kind of strange because you're working if you're on different pages, you've got to flip through here and then select the areas here. So for me, it's pretty much easier to go and make your selection, right click and go interactive, insert hyperlink. Okay, so by default, it usually comes to page, which means if you highlighted this area and you create a hyperlink um, to page one, it will go there. If there's multiple pages, you can go to select it there. Um, okay, so make sure that the character style is hyperlink when you want to do hyperlinks and then you click there and go to URL. Okay, you can see the other options there. I'm not going to entertain that now. It's just for the URL and I have one. I'm going to paste it. That's one of my videos on YouTube. Uh, so there you've got a URL. Now um, for it to be able to open up in a separate window, you will have to add probably some specific code. I have not worked that one out yet. Um, so it won't open it in a separate tag, tab, it will just open it up on the page of the PDF that you're generating. Okay, so you go, okay there, and there you can see it's created a hyperlink there. If you want to modify it, edit it or delete it, you can select that area again, oops, and right click, interactive, and then it gives you the ability to edit, delete, or even go to that hyperlink to test it out. Okay, but what we want to do now is test it when we send it out. Um, in this case, you could push it right back to um, push it back to your Affinity Design if you want to. But I recommend that you export the PDF from Publisher. Um, you know, so so you've got the ability to add a hyperlink and whatever specific to that you you rather work and send it out from Publisher. So you go to file and I am going to now go and export this and I'm going to export it as a PDF. Now what I was doing and let me just show you this. Uh, this thing might work <laughs> uh, by me trying to show you how it doesn't work, but let's go for it. I'm going to export it and I'm, that's ICDF 21. Just go there. Oh, and it's opening it automatically. I think I've got it set. So it just publishes it as a PDF and opens it. Okay, here we go. So yeah, we got it here now, but when I hover over it, it's no, not activated. And I was kind of checking out what's going on here, you know, all the things in there. And then I remembered this is a affinity range. They've, they've got a lot of things that you have to also set specifically, like when you send out and this bleeds in your document, you've got to indicate that um, after you, while you're sending the PDF. So I went to go look there. Uh, if you go here and I go export, uh, we're choosing PDF. There's a more button here. Okay, so if you click on more, um, like I said in the other programs, when you wanted to send a PDF out with bleed and with sort of the color codes and everything in there, this window you'd have to come in and do some sort of checking some of the boxes. And that's what made me come here. And here you can see include. 
Okay, you see a whole lot of stuff there, but the one that I'm showing you is include hyperlinks is not checked. So even though you've created a hyperlink, if you don't check this, it's not going to set it out. So if you use these settings plus create hyperlink uh, routinely, you can check that box and then create a preset from it. But I'm going to just show you now if I click enable that, close it. Now when I send this PDF out, I have to name this maybe rev1, so it's a revision one of that same file. Okay, so this is the second one. Can you see what happens? There is an activation. If I go to the old one, nothing there. Okay, so I mean somebody can do that. Open a link or keep shift. Uh, is it shift or control down and click here and just open it in a new page. But in this case, because there's no ability or to my knowledge of creating a opening a separate tab, it will just when you click here, it will open it up in the same tab. Unless you've got the PDF up and running in a different document, which I assume will happen. But I'm having it run inside the browser itself. That's why it's just using that the same browser to get through there. And there we go. This gets to my uh, video that I linked it to on how to create stickers in Telegram. Okay, so that's how it goes. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Uh, remember, let's run through that briefly. Select the area, right click, create interactive URL. And then make sure that when you export, this is the most important. When you export, click more. Make sure that hyperlinks is checked there. I think just routinely leave it checked because it is a valuable setting to have on. Okay, great stuff. Have a fantastic day and Shalom.